walk you through how to fine tune your design, prepare it for the stencil before we get to uh, sending it to this unit. Um, there's a few things that you wanna be aware of. I'm working in Procreate. This is my design that I'm gonna uh, work with. It's in Procreate, but whatever app you're using, uh, you're gonna wanna mirror the image. That way you're gonna have a stencil that has the proper orientation for what you want. Right there. You wanna make sure that you mirror your image before exporting. We're gonna save this image from Procreate. You share your artwork as a JPEG. So this will go into my gallery now. Now I can pull it from my gallery uh, and get it into the Brother iPrint and Scan app. So we're gonna go in here to all photos. We see that we have the one that we flipped. We're gonna grab that. Done, get that up there. And what we're gonna do is make some fine tune adjustments to this. The first thing that we wanna do, we wanna crop this image. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to crop over here on the right, and we're gonna crop that down. So that's what we're gonna be manipulating right there. We are going to um, scale it if we want to, but let's say we wanna move it a little bit. Our client's there, we need it sized down a little bit. All we do is just size it down to the size we need. Now if you see I have the design at the bottom of this page, um, I put it there so that not only can I see the perspective on size, because this is set up as a letter canvas, I can see the size of the design, but I can also prevent myself from burning up a bunch of paper so I can be efficient with my stencil paper. And to do that, all I did was hit this move tool, and now I can move that image anywhere I want. I like it down in the bottom, so I'm gonna use only that portion of the stencil paper. It also, again, gives me perspective on the size that it is, because I know this is eight and a half inches wide. Now that we have our image on the bottom of the page, we've moved it there, we have it where we want it, we can do some finer tune adjustments just by hitting the flipping tool. This is gonna allow you to rotate your design um, by using this rotate button right there, and this would allow you to move it uh, and, and place it on the stencil paper a little bit different. So within the flip tool, you also have this angle tool. It's recommended that you angle your design just slightly um, so that the printer will not jump when dealing with horizontal lines. Okay, now that we have our design set up at the bottom of the page here, a couple little things that we can talk about. If you go into this print settings menu, you can change the paper size to letter legal or A4 if you need that. You can also, go into change the amount of copies. Don't necessarily need to do that when we're talking about stencils. We can also change the density. If you have a dark image, you can lower the density. If you have a light image, you can increase the density. So typically, with this stencil paper and this unit, you're gonna to wanna to be in a range of eight to 10. So we have it set up on eight right now. I think that's gonna be just fine. 